We are at the Elida Fieldhouse tonight for girls high school basketball action. It's the district final, Ottawa Glandorf and Delphus Jefferson. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome uh, to the court side of Elida Fieldhouse. Alongside Evan Skelter, I'm Patrick Campbell. We're looking forward to a great matchup between two uh, fabulous girls teams, Delphus Jefferson, Ottawa Glandorf, of course, one of the uh, Early storylines, of course, is the health of uh, Liv Lindemann's ankle. Is she going to be able to go if she does? How well is she going to be able to play on that? Especially not having a or having a quick turnaround time from their game against Allen East on Thursday. Yeah, the question going into Thursday's game, which could, could she play? And how healthy would she be? How would it feel? And look, they came out, and it was a big game from Lauren French where Lindemann didn't have to do quite as much, but she still looked great, she still played hard. Uh, you could tell she was she was definitely hurt, but she plays hard, and that's what we're gonna see tonight. We're gonna see two teams going at each other, playing super hard. It might be a low scoring one. These are two really good defenses, but I, I really am looking forward to what we're gonna see tonight. It's win or go home time for both of these teams, as one will claim a district championship after this evening, as the teams Get ready and set to go. Carson Erford, Carly Brinkman, Katie Kaufman, Mika Aldridge, Caitlin Kimmett on the court for the Titans. Maddie Burris, Liv, is out there. So she will start along with Kirsten Moore, Karen Miller, and Lauren French. And we are underway. Otto Glandorf controlling the tip off as we get started. Rolling around, this is Erford attacking the basket. Missed, and a scrum for the basketball, and we'll see if we get a tie up here. We will. And the possession arrow is going to favor the Jeff Cats. Early attack from Erford right there. 2-3 zone look from Jefferson, and oftentimes it's tough to attack the middle of that. And you saw right there plenty of players to help inside once Erford got to the rim. Good defense from the Jeff Cats. Ball comes loose. Collision there by a couple of OG Titans, and now another scramble for the basketball. And we might get a, oh, we're gonna get a steal, maybe a tie up, let's see, tie up. What we say before this game, it's gonna be physical, right? We've yeah. already seen multiple players on the ground, we've seen two tie ups. It's going to be a crazy, crazy physical game. It'll be a lot of effort, and a lot of teams, or a lot of players, excuse me, on both teams that really buy into what they're trying to do intensity wise. Inbound the ball underneath, comes out to Erford, who controls the basketball, Kimmett. Putting it up, that Wallace Jewelry three-pointer, no good. How about the box out backside yep. right there? Really nice job from Carolyn Mueller boxing out Caitlin Kaufman, or Katie Kaufman, excuse me, one of the best rebounders in the area. So now the Jeff Katz will bring it up. Liv Lindemann taking an early look at that ankle, that badly sprained left ankle that she is going to, well, likely struggle with for the remainder of their time, and there's going to be a travel underneath. A little too busy on the legs was Lauren French, and that'll be a turnover. Lauren French had 20 points, 19 rebounds last game against Allen East. She was a huge force inside. Like I said, gobbling up rebounds, but doing a really nice job scoring at the rim. Shot efficiently, but right there, she got double teamed. Just kind of lost the footing. She'll be okay. It's a really good player inside. Titans go back to work, off balance, shot up and in as Kaufman puts that in for the first points of the game. And Katie Kaufman took a while to get going on Thursday in their matchup against Parkway, but she ended up being a really big player for the Titans and a good job attacking there. There's a lot of truly three-pointer off the mark. French getting the tie up along with Kaufman. The possession arrow will favor Jefferson. Already three jump balls in this game. Usually you won't see three jump balls in any game. There's another Lottox Jewelry three-pointer. That one is off the mark. Scramble for the basketball and Kaufman comes up with it. To the other side, here's another Lottox Jewelry three-pointer. That one just short. French with the rebound for the Jeff Cats. Good control from French right there. Two players around her, but she's able to swing the ball through and get it out of pressure. There's a long pass to Miller and We'll have a foul. B.J. McFerrin right there. Johnny on the spot making the call. Yeah, good crew today. Bruce Bain, B.J. McFerrin, and George Mock. Veterans, they always do a nice job. Yep. Good to see them out there. And you need, usually see some great refereeing here later in the tournament. For sure. No surprise to see these guys calling a district final. Able to get the basketball in. And a step back is going to be a long two. Glendeman now with the basketball. Sorry, Moore. 
Working hard on defense and does get the basketball back. Was going to be a turnover. But the Jeff Cats get it back and there's a nice step back shot by Lindemann. That one hard off the iron. Recovered. Moore feeding French underneath. We'll have to give it back. Looking for a cutting Lindemann. And that will stay down here with Delphus Jefferson. Well, the Cats are looking hard to get it inside, but right now French not able to get position. And even when she does, the Titans will commit another defender down there to making that entry pass hard. And if French does end up catching it, she's going to be double teamed. So the Cats need to move the ball quickly around the perimeter. Lindemann with a Waddix Jewelry three-pointer, and it is up and good. Can't lose her on inbounds plays. She got wide open there and made no mistake. That's a great three-point shooter, over 30%. Olivia Grothaus checking in for the Titans. I'll take that back. It's Megan Horseman who's checked in for Ottawa Glandorf. And now a turnover. Basketball going back to Jefferson. Yeah, it's the second time Kaufman's put the ball on the deck trying to drive from about 15 feet out. That time, good hands from the Jefferson defense swiping it away. And now on the other end, good job by the Titans yeah. knocking it away from Lindemann. That will stay over here with the Jeff Cats. Toss in Moore, getting it to French. Kicking out, Wallace Jewelry three-pointer on the way, and splash down for Kayla Miller. And that's gonna be big if Jefferson can hit from outside and kind of expand this defense a little bit, keep them from collapsing, and that'll open up space for French inside. So the more they can hit, the better. Jefferson's gonna need a big gain out of other players if they wanna advance in this one. Ball out of bounds, that will go back to Jefferson. Uncharacteristic, unforced error there from Ottawa. Nice screen from French. Ooh. Levin pulls up, quick two, no good. Clearing some space was Kaufman. <laughs> Here's a drive in, Grothaus in trouble, way underneath, triple teamed, and a timeout as Troy Yant saves the possession. We'll take a timeout as well. 4.30 remaining in the first quarter. It's a 6-2 Jefferson lead. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Titans with the basketball, 4.30 remaining in the first quarter. It's a 6-2 lead for the Jeff Cats. Still in the 2-3 zone. They're going to force the Titans to score from outside because they really don't want to get Kaufman inside where she does the best work. Her best work, excuse me. Having to pass it back out. Erford in trouble. Having to kick one back out. Lars Julie 3 is short. And a Jefferson player hits the deck. That's Miller. And that's the shot they want to get up, or get, give up, excuse me, the, the Wildcats. Force the Titans to the perimeter. Kaufman not really a three-point threat, so they'll be content with her shooting from outside. Man, love it, Lindemann. Yeah, bad ankle, nice pass, up and in. As the Brinkman knocks that one down. Yeah, and that bad ankle is obviously going to keep her from being as explosive as she normally is, but it's not gonna hurt the IQ. And right there, really nice right. job forcing one defender to come out and help, and then passing it off for the easy bucket. Kirsten Moore called for her first foul. And if you've never dealt with a sprain before, the up and down, like straight speed, usually isn't affected so much. It's that lateral side to side movement that you were talking about. That's where you, uh, you, know, you can see the problems that you might struggle with if you're having that. Yeah, no oh. doubt. Big bucket there. That's tough. Lindemann looking pretty good on defense there, but able to still put it in as Erford. It's 8-4. to four. Carson Erford, just a sophomore, but she's a fantastic guard. One of the best in this area. Oh, my. <laughs> I thought about the shot there for a moment. Did Maddie Burris, and she gives it up. Cats are going to take their time and keep the ball away from this explosive Titans offense. Having to 
Worked pretty hard there was Moore. She passes it off to French. And then gets it back, looking inside. And that just a little bit long. Brinkman there return it. Then she fires a long pass. And that out of bounds. And that will stay with Otto Glandorf. As some of the supports get knocked over. Yeah, and that's Lindemann hustling back and knocking that ball away before Kaufman could catch it. I like the entry pass and the idea of going up over the top as Jefferson puts another tall player in and Claire Brinkman. Her first shot, no good. Grothaus, second chance, puts it in. Down to a two-point Jeff Cat lead. The second chance points are so big when you can get another possession back and get two points out of it. That's going to be big. And both of these teams are going to have to make sure they're boxing out because there are two really good rebounders out there in French and Kaufman. Lindemann splitting the defense and has the ball knocked away. It will stay down here with Delphus Jefferson. Good hand right there. It's a couple times she's been able to beat her defender from the perimeter. And with a bad ankle, you don't expect that. But if she can continue to get inside, she's yep. going to make things really, really tough on this defense who are trying to keep the ball away from French. Kaya Kimmett checking in for Delphus Jefferson. Mueller to inbound. Does so, gets it to Lindemann. Spinning around and puts that one up and in. Lindemann now with five points and a tough finish right there. She's always so balanced. I hate to keep talking about the ankle, but my goodness, with a, with a hard or a tough ankle, able to keep your balance on that shot, spinning around. Finishing, that's big. A lot of Shirley, three, and a nice answer by Ottawa Glandorf. Herford now with five points. She looks really good here. A couple tough baskets early on. One point, Jefferson lead, 145 left in the first quarter. And Lindemann put up a lot of three and connects. Yeah, it's too much space. She'll shoot from anywhere. She'll shoot from super deep Caitlin Clark range. And right there, Brinkman thought, hey, I'm close enough. She's not going to shoot from out here. And boom, right over top of her. you got to be aware. And it's a quick release. Like, it's really hard mm. to get in there and time it and stop that shot. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. This is Brinkman attacking. Ball is loose. Back the other way. Here comes Kimmett. No good. On a play like that, you need to go to the basket. Right there, she kind of went away from the contact. Referees are never going to call a foul, and it's really hard to score when you're off balance. Without a shadow of a doubt, now here's OG attacking on the other side. Alternate shot, no good. Good job by the defense. One player goes down, the help slides over, makes that tough shot for Aldrich. And now maybe a chance to play for the last shot. Brinkman's giving space to Lindemann. Coach Yance not telling her to go up and get her. Down to 36 seconds, and I think you're right. They might be waiting for that last shot. Sure, there's some element of conser conserving how much Lindemann has to cut, move, and things like that. And if you can buy her a few seconds in a quarter, you're absolutely going to do it. Absolutely. And the other thing's a psychological advantage. If you finish the first quarter with a lead against one of the best teams in the state, that feels really good going to the bench. Look Looking at inside oh. for French and had an opportunity, and it's going to go out of bounds. It was a good-looking pass, and I like the idea to put the ball in the deck for a power dribble just went right off the foot. That's a tough one, but if you get a big stop here, you still go into the quarter with a four-point lead. That's going to be yep. big for this Jefferson team. Eight seconds is a lot of time. Down to five. Ringing it in, Erford controls, puts it up. One second, that one's out of bounds, so Jefferson will get a chance to heave it if they take it. And again, Katz just keeping everything away from the basket. We'll let you pull up for a mid-range jump shot. That's not the most high efficient shot or high efficiency shot you're gonna take, so that's okay with them. That's the end of one. It's Delphus Jefferson with a 13-9 lead over Ottawa Glendorf. We'll be back. You're watching high school girls basketball action on WOSN. Welcome back. Our free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wampak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. And our three-point sponsor is Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at lodix.com. 
Second quarter action ready to get started. Patrick Handler, Evan Skilder here with you. District final action here at the Elida Fieldhouse and Otto Glandorf with the basketball and that shot no good and we're gonna have a foul here with just 11 seconds gone in the second quarter. Yeah, they're gonna get Mike Aldrich there reaching in. And before that possession, I wanted to say, I think that the Titans really need to start getting the ball inside, really focus on Kaufman, letting her attack, and right there, just great defense from French. Here come the Jeff Cats. Able to dribble in there in the paint and can't get the friendly roll. Second chance opportunity, maybe, and we're going to get a tie up instead. It's big that will stay down here with Jeff, the Jeff Cats. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, sorry, Patrick. It's big from Claire Brinkman. That's a freshman getting in there and getting some big minutes against a really tough team and a really tough game. So we'll have to see what she can do today, but that's a bright future for the Delta Shepherds and Lady Cats. Moore's Pass. got some good position inside. And for sure, pass goes into Lindemann. <clears throat> Working it back around. Here's that was Brinkman for a moment. Now back to Lindemann. Gets a screen, 16-footer, just off the left side. Ball bouncing around, and we'll get another tie-up. And that one will favor Robert Glandor. I like that little pick and roll there. Kind of everything broke down, so you can see Lindemann look over to French and nod. French came out to set that screen. Defense didn't come out far enough, so it was a nice-looking jumper that just didn't go. but. I noticed right there, French didn't get the ball, but she was open on the roll. So mm -hmm. we'll have to see if Jefferson looks to take advantage of that. Working it down low and a foul. It's always kind of hard that the uh, person who has the foul called on them is the one who gets knocked down. But that's exactly what happened there to uh, Carolyn Miller. They just ran kind of a down screen with a hook over the top so Kaufman could catch the ball on the run. Able to draw some contact, but misses that free throw. She's kind of struggling to get things going. Just two points here. Please, famous recipe free throw, no good for Katie Kaufman. This is OG trying to break double digits here. And 0 for 2 there from the foul line, and we'll have an offensive foul. That's one of those frustration fouls. You missed two free throws. The second one, the rebound gets close to you, so you want to reach in and get it, make up for what you did. And Ends up with a foul. It's her, only her first. Kristen Moore inbounds to Liv Lindemann. Of course, one of the questions over the last week is how would Delphus Jefferson do if Liv Lindemann wasn't 100%? And you know, so far, the Jeff Cats, number one, have overall looked really good as we're going to see a foul underneath, and that's going to send Burris to the line. And the second part of that is, so far, Liv Lindemann looks pretty good out there. She looks great. She looks really good. She, again, maybe not as explosive as she normally is, but you can hardly tell because she's been so smart navigating around screens, finding space, and a little subtle step back when the defender's off balance has been really effective today as well. Lee's famous recipe free throw goes in. Little shooter's roll action there from Maddie Burris. Secondly, same recipe free throw is good. Now some substitutions as Kemet will come back in for Burris as OG inbounds the ball with 622 remaining in the first half. Really haven't gotten away from that 2-3 zone. And it's been effective again. The best way to beat a zone is to get the ball into the middle or to hit from outside. Not able to not, do either not, right now. Not so there. Here comes Lindemann back the other way. She'll stop and pop from 17 and hits. Yeah, you got to stay in her hip. You cannot give her any space. Normal. Uh, a lot of times coaches will say mid-range jumpers in transition aren't good, but when you have a player that, that's good at, that is that good at knocking them down, Eight can't point. be that man. Sorry. No, you're, no, you're fine. Eight-point lead, largest of the contest for Delphus Jefferson. Erford with the basketball. Jefferson fans wanting a travel. Erford takes it strong to the basket and puts him in double digits. That looked like a case where Erford was just frustrated. She said, I'll take care of this. <laughs> Goes yep. through all, or three different defenders all the way to the bucket. Moore has it working it back around now. 
Claire Brinkman controlling now to Kimmett. Good handles there on the perimeter against a great defender in Brinkman. Without a doubt. And Coach Lindemann will call a timeout. We'll take it as well. 5.06 left in the second quarter. Six point lead for the Jeff Cats. You're watching girls basketball action on WOSN. Welcome back. Coming out of timeout, Jefferson with a 17 to 11 lead. Something we were working on, really the, the big difference in this one is Jefferson's had some open opportunities outside, not necessarily three point range, but they've had some of those opportunities and they've hit them. Arbor Glandorf still looking to find the range here in this one. Yeah, they are and they, they've been focusing on getting the ball to the rim, but that defense of Delphus Jefferson is so tight inside. Off the miss and we will have a foul. I think that's going to be Yeah, correct. That's Brinkman. I don't have the offensive rebound numbers in front of me. We'll get them at halftime. But I would venture to guess Jefferson has quite a few offensive rebounds, quite a few more offensive rebounds as Lindemann travels there. She knew she did it, too. Yeah. She got knocked back a little bit by the defender, had to replace her feet in the process of doing that. Walk with the basketball, so that'll be a turnover. OG gets it back. Under five minutes to go in the second quarter. Zerfer taking it inside. That one's just off the mark. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will stay with the Titans. Again, just tough, tough defense inside. Titans still trying to get it in there, still working hard, but nothing falling. And the ball comes loose. Jefferson gets it back. Lindemann brings it down the floor and had a nice move there. Got Horseman off her feet. Even when she falls, she's under control. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that's how impressive she is. When she falls, she trips, she's off balance, she goes on the ground, but she's still dribbling, she's still under control, still able to make a pass out of it. It's so impressive. Yeah, there's a lot of times where you have a lot of players that will travel in that situation. She hangs on to it. Jefferson able to preserve the possession. Second opportunity. Also, no good there is right there on defense is Katie Kaufman. That's great defense from Kaufman, and you saw the double team initially. That's would have been a big shot. Horseman with a lot of jewelry, three-pointer, no good, but OG preserves the possession. And now this drive inside just a bit short. Erford, third time's a charm. Yeah, you think one of those is eventually going to fall. Look at that one. Erford has nine of OG's 13 points. Said Erford has been, as you said, just about their entire offense. The Liv Lindemann has 10 of Delta Jefferson's 17 points. And a foul is. It's against uh, the was Titans. It? So that's actually going to be five fouls against Ottawa Glandor. I didn't really see the contact, but referee BJ McFerrin said there were two hands on the ball handler. And so that ends up being two free throws for Liv Lindemann, who's a great free throw shooter as well, unsurprisingly. Foul called on Megan Horseman, and yeah, no surprise that uh, Lindemann would be good at the foul line. First lead, fans recipe, free throw is good. Brinkman checking back in for Delphus Jefferson as Miller has a seat. Second lead's free throw is good. It's 12 points for Lindemann. Back to a six point. Jeff Cat lead. OG has never led in this contest as Erford gets it down low, then has some problems with it. Here's a Roddick's Jewelry three pointer by Horseman, no good. Offensive rebound for OG. And attacking now is Kaufman off balance, and she will head to the line. Yeah, I like that from Kaufman. She just goes to the right, gets a step on French and what we talked about earlier at this end was Delphus Jefferson's player going to the basket through the contact and that's what we saw right there. She, yeah. Katie Kaufman when she got inside she didn't go away from the contact she went right into French which forced the referee to make a call. She almost scored through it but now two free throws and she misses the first again not doing so well from the line right now. So the first lead's free throw no good. Second chance of the charity stripe lead free throw in and out. 
Moore Could've stuck out. Long pass to Moore, who's checked back in. Had a lane for a second, but good job for OG to close it. And then the steal, Grothaus patrolling the passing lanes. And now Kaufman bringing it up, passes it off to Erford. Working it around, Brinkman, no. Not normally a three-point shooter. She did hit one on Thursday. And now Lindemann bringing it up. Ball comes loose and a blocking foul. It's going to be two against Erford, or was that? Yeah, it was Erford, so it's two against her. And again, more free throws for Lindemann. Yep. And she tried to slide over. I understand what she was trying to do, trying to get position, trying to take the charge, but she didn't quite get her body squared to Lindemann. Feet weren't quite set yet either. Leafs free throw up and good. Caitlin Kimmett checking in for OG. Lindemann's second Leafs free throw, good. So a stark contrast, OG struggling at the foul line while Delphi Jefferson is hitting their shots and it's starting to impact this lead. Lindemann getting a break here. Let's see if Jefferson can take advantage. Kaufman posting up inside. I was just gonna say, with Lindemann on the bench, see how this lead holds up, and that's a good start right there, if they can hang on to the basketball. They lost it, I think OG gets it back. Right there, the Jefferson Wildcats sent a double team from the center, which is right where Katie Kaufman tried to spin. She mm -hmm. turned right into the double team. We'll see if she starts posting up a little bit higher, maybe spinning baseline away from the double team. Oops. Able to get out and some miscommunication there. And the ball will go right back to the Jeff Cats. We've seen a couple uncharacteristic turnovers from OG, Just some unforced errors. Yeah. And that is not something you normally see from them. You see that sometimes from good defenses and high pressure situations that make offenses do things that, well, are uncharacteristic. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Here's a little side pick and roll. We've seen a couple of those this evening. Or afternoon, I guess. <laughs> First passing it off and another turnover. To the races, here's Erford. Off balance shot, no good. Cleaning it up is Kaufman and she will head to the line. Great defense initially in transition. I like what Moore did. She got back. She was able to establish position, which is what Erford tried to do on this end. Able to establish position. And there's no call there, which is great from the referees. But a lot of times in transition, you see a block, blocking foul called because the defense doesn't have a chance to get their feet set. As Kaufman misses another free throw there. Lee's free throw is no good. And the missed free throws starting to pile up here for Ottawa Glandorf. Lee's free throw number two is up and good. A one for six now for Kaufman. So Kaufman will take a seat. Mika Aldridge in there for the Titans. Lindemann brings it up for Delphus Jefferson. We're under two minutes. Seven point lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard for Delphus Jefferson. Mort trying to work inside, takes the defense and had an opportunity for a backdoor play and we're gonna have a foul. On the floor. Only four against Jefferson, so not a huge deal there. I like what Moore is doing. She's done a nice job finding open players, but her passes haven't been necessarily accurate so far this evening. Yeah. So the second that she can start making some accurate passes is the second you start to see this lead get a little bit bigger because she's doing a great job navigating the defense, drawing some help, and freeing up her teammates. Without a doubt. Been able to create some opportunities on offense for Jefferson. Able to take advantage of some of them as well. And that's helped the Jeff Katz build a seven point lead. But now the Titans with a chance to answer and Erford has been the answer for OG so far tonight. She has 11 of OG's 16 points. Found the soft spot in the zone right there just by the free throw line, able to knock it in. Lindemann, nice pass off, wide open. Lodix Julie three by Burris, no good. Good design play though, as now Kaufman brings it up the floor. Smart play from her, just stopping real quick, getting into the hands of the guard. Brinkman passing it off to Erford. 
Now working inside to Kaufman, left hand up and in. Yeah, they're taking advantage of French being on the bench. Kaufman doing her work early, pinning Brinkman underneath the basket before the entry, and as soon as she caught it, she had all the position in the world to finish it. 35 seconds left in the first half. Three-point lead for Jefferson, looking to hold for a final shot. Coach Yant says, get up and guard her. They're going to make it tough. Almost get a did. steal. And almost loses the basketball, has it stripped away by Horseman, but she's able to keep it now 17 seconds. And uh, not allowing Lindemann to just dribble it out. And has the ball stolen away. Here's Brinkman to the races, up and in. It's a one-point lead down to Jefferson. Yeah, just like that. Good job from the Titans, not rolling over late. One second, Lindemann puts it up. Oh, and my hits. goodness. What a shot. What ankle. I got nothing for you, Patrick. <laughs> That's unbelievable right there. Goes from a turnover and a bucket at the other end to saying, sorry, Mom, let me get that back for you. No milk and cookies for you. 24 to 20, Jefferson. Halftime here at the United Field House. We're back for the third quarter after this on WOSN. Welcome back. Our scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Just about ready to wrap up halftime. 24-20, Delphus Jefferson on top. Liv Lindemann has had a terrific performance. 17 of Delphus Jefferson's 24 points. And really, for on the Otto Glandover side of things, they, they just haven't been able to get the shooting uh, going the way they need to, Evan Skillholder. You're absolutely right. They're shooting 36% from the field, just 12% from the three-point line on 11 attempts, and then uh, also 16% from the free throw line. And so just a, a really, really tough half shooting the basketball. But they started to make a little run there at the end of the quarter, and it would be a one-point game if it weren't for Liv Lindemann waving the magic wand and knocking one in from half court. So the Titans have to like what they did. If you're Del Delphus Jefferson, you've got to slow things down a little bit. They do have six turnovers in this game, and uh, or excuse me, nine turnovers in this game, and the Titans have turned a lot of those into points. And so you, you can't rely on the Titans to keep shooting poorly. The more you turn the ball over, the more chances they'll have to score, and I imagine they're going to shoot a lot better here. So. The Wildcats need to clean it up a little bit, make sure they're not turning the, the ball over. And then if you're the Titans, obviously you got to knock down shots. You want to get that defense to come out of the zone a little bit and free up some space inside. you got to hit shots. But also, against the zone, you can move the ball quickly and create some space as well. Third quarter underway. Lindemann back to work. Shot blocked but fouled in the process. So that will put Lindemann at the line to get us started here in half number two. Second foul on Carly Brinkman. Yep. So Lindemann, perfect four for four from the charity stripe. And that first lead famous recipe chicken free throw is up and good. Well, and that's the other stat that stands out is Jefferson was six for six, now seven of seven from the free throw line, while the Titans were one for six. So make it eight of eight for Jefferson and one for six from Ottawa Glandor. That's a perfect still from the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. And we'll see what the Titans can do coming out. Here is Erford, that shot just off the mark. Second chance opportunity put back in. Can't give up the offensive boards. Six offensive rebounds for Jefferson in the first half. Seven for Ottawa Glandorf, so make it eight. And second chance points right there. Lindman thought about the water jewelry three-pointer instead will pass it off into the hands of Maddie Burris. Lindemann's really good coming off those screens at the defender. Goes underneath. Other side and Erford with a block. Coming back the other way, dishes it off, up and in by Aldrich. And stolen away, the inbounds pass. Tipped back into the hands of Erford. Erford puts it up in, oh, almost. She will head to the line with an opportunity to tie this one up. Yeah, Jefferson too quick to get the ball inbounds right there. They didn't notice Brinkman was right behind. And Brinkman's had a tough assignment against Lindemann so far today, but she is a really, really great defender. Erford at the line. First Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw is good. 
The substitutions, Olivia Grothaus back in for the Titans as Aldrich will have a seat. Second league's free throw is no good. Scrum for the basketball, and that's going to be out on Delphus Jefferson. Went off the head of Burris. Really heads up play from Erford right there, just tapping the ball down, mm -hmm. knocking it off of Jefferson. Really liked that one. And it's a tough one for Jefferson giving up another offensive rebound. That was a long one there. Those can be tough to bring in on free throws. Brinkman to inbound, does so. Gets it back, Wallace Drury three-pointer in the corner, no. Rebound, Kaufman puts it up and she's fouled. Another offensive rebound, that's three already here in the second half and Kaufman making them pay. Now she needs to hit some free throws, just one for five in the first half, make it one for six, excuse me. But she's a good shooter, great basketball player, she'll get this figured out. Hope so anyway. Famous Lees, famous Lees, famous Lees, famous chicken free throw, no good. Famous Lees. Famous Lees. It is famous. I love that chicken. Whatever makes you say the sponsor's name over again, they're usually okay with it. Lees, famous Lees, chicken free throw, no good. Get it back. Take a chance opportunity, comes up with it, Horseman able to preserve the possession for OG. So make it five offensive rebounds in the half alone. Erford working against French, that shot off the back iron. Kaufman Six. puts it back up, can't get there, and then a five of foul. And that's a tough one, that's gonna be three on Erford now, so she'll have to be a little bit more careful for a team that likes to pressure defensively. My goodness, you can't Erford. be happy if you're Coach Lindemann giving up that many offensive rebounds to start this quarter. Without a doubt. Erford sits with three fouls, and she has been the bulk of, or almost half of OG's points. But, you know, going back to your point, it's the offensive rebounds that Otto Glenner has been able to get over Jefferson. But to that same effect, the Titans have not been able to connect on those shots and really make them pay for it yet. Yeah, and that's kind of what we talked about. It, Jefferson needs to clean things up because this team will not continue to shoot this poorly. I really don't think they will. Ball loose and a foul. That will be against, um, I think, Lindemann. Yeah, yeah that's her first. And that's a tough one right there. You can tell referee B.J. McFerrin didn't really want to call it, but her being on top of the leg of the offensive player and the offensive player falling over, he really didn't have a choice. Horseman working, giving up. This is Grothaus. She'll take it inside. Kaufman there to clean it up. Another opportunity. Kaufman again and can't find the Brange. Well, it's more of what you just said, Patrick. They're able to get the offensive rebounds. Two more on that possession, but no points to show for it. And Jefferson still holding on to that one-point lead. And Kaufman has been a beast underneath getting those offensive rebounds. They just haven't been able to connect. And Coach Lindemann is going to call timeout. We'll take it as well. 529 remaining in the third quarter. Jefferson clinging to a one-point lead. You're watching Girls High School Basketball Action on WOSN. More inbounds as we're back to action. One point lead for Delphus Jefferson. Lindemann working inside, quick pop and drop. Love the quick release right there. Good footwork too, coming off the screen, finds just a little bit of space, but just a little bit is enough for Liv Lindemann. Here's Horseman, the Rocks, surely three pointer, and ties this one up at 28. They needed that one to go, big three pointer. First one they've made since the first quarter and they tie it up. Only the second three of the game for the Titans. First time we've been tied since 0-0. French with it, gives it up. Now Moore. Pull up shot mm. by Burris. Wattis Joey three-pointer breaks the tie, 31-28. That was a big answer right there. I think Jefferson's starting to sweat a little bit as this Titans team starting to get some of the momentum, but nothing hurts momentum more than a three-pointer from the other team. Burris with five points. Lindemann with 21. 
Now nice underneath, pass. here is Kaufman. Put it up with the left hand. Yeah, but that was Olivia Grothaus making it easy for Kaufman, putting the ball right where she needed to put it. Basically passing Kaufman open right there over her shoulder so she could spin and score easy. Then passing it off, Burris. Back out, French looking to feed someone in the paint, finds Lindemann, Lindemann up, shot, no good. Look out, and here it's coming to pop it away and can't save it from going out of bounds. Kaya Kemet, nice effort play. Just not able to preserve the possession. I hope once basketball season is over, whenever it is, that we see number 10 Kaya Kemet on the track because she is fast. She is. She came flying out of nowhere. So from the second that rebound was snagged down, she was tracking that basketball. OG inbounds, lost surely three-pointer is short. Recovered by the Titans. Another offensive rebound. Erford controlling, working against Moore. Passes it off, here's Grothaus, strong take. In and out, French with a rebound. Good help defense from French right there, just sliding over, textbook stuff, putting a hand up and altering that shot. Lindemann touched by OG. Thought based on the trajectory of that pass that the Titan got their hands on it. Moore looking to inbound, looking for somebody and finds Lindemann, but tipped into the hands of Miller. See Brinkman help Lindemann up in the middle of the play right there. Mm -hmm. Great sportsmanship. Lindemann cutting it inside and foul. Lindemann says, thanks for the help. I'm going to draw a foul. Right, yeah. Take that. <laughs> That's three fouls now against Brinkman. So Brinkman and Erford both in the game with three fouls. There's someone ready to check in. It's Horseman who yep. has done a great job against Lindemann here today as well. Lee's free throw up and good. As Lendeman continuing to scorch at the charity stripe. 32-30 lead for Jefferson. Second lead's free throw, no good. 22 points for Lindemann. 22 of 32 for her squad. And now Moore and called they, for the foul. The entire Ottawa yeah. Landorf side saw it happen. Fans always willing to help the officials out with making calls. I think officials need to ask fans more. <laughs> what did you think there? We talked to BJ McFerrin a number of times. We know he appreciates it when the fans the voice rules. their opinions, yeah. Especially over the back, that's his favorite. Kenneth with a nice take inside. And we're tied up at 32. You know, I wondered if they'd start going to Kimmett a little bit because the Wildcats have been focusing so much attention on Kaufman on her side of the lane. So that time they go against Kimmett, or they go to Kimmett, excuse me, do the Titans, and Kimmett with the size advantage able to lay it in easy, tied up. Working with the basketball, 222 remaining in the third quarter, all tied at 32. There's Brinkman, and that ball stolen away by Aldridge. Aldridge bringing it all the way down. Got a little deep, gets it to Kaufman. Kaufman gets it to go. And OG takes the lead for the first time tonight. There are more offensive rebounds, and when you run a 2-3 zone, a lot of times it's tough to box out, it's tough to grab rebounds, and right now the Titans just taking advantage of that. This is their first lead. Maybe of the game, but definitely as long as I can remember. It is indeed OG's first lead of the contest. Lindemann from downtown, lost Shirley three-pointer, no good. Rebound, put back up, missed. Try to tap it back to a teammate, and it will be... OG basketball. Yeah, that's one that felt like it could go either way, so one side of this game's gonna be mad, one side's not. <laughs> either way, that's a tough one to call.
Delphus Jefferson had an eight-point lead in this contest at one point midway through the second quarter. It's been back and forth, but Alba Glandorf has clawed back to take a two-point lead here with 80 seconds gone by. This ball's going to stay down here with OG. Man, I don't know. That one happened right in front of us. And look, the referee was there, too. I don't want to argue, but that... Uh, well, uh, either way, Titans get the ball. Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> It'll stay with OG. Erfer puts it up. Off balance, no good. And a foul on OG. Maybe it's a makeup call, maybe it's not. I'll let you decide there at home. Four fouls for either team. That's the second against Kaufman. She's not necessarily in trouble here, but the next foul will put whichever team is fouled on the line. Lindemann brings it up. We come up on the final minute. Driving inside. Cuts the defense. No good. Kemet with the rebound. We'll see if OG holds. Doesn't look like they will. Horseman driving inside. Loses the basketball. French comes up with it. Gives it up to Lindemann. 45 seconds. Neither team slowing down at the end of the half. And Lindemann puts it up and in. We're tied once again. Lindemann had more on the wing, and there was no chance she was going to pass it out there. Great take to the basket to tie this one up. Brinkman passes it off to Erford. Coach Ant still not really looking for the last shot. He wants his team to get the ball inside. Kaufman working against French here. Now Erford has the top of the key, 16 seconds. Working it around, good ball movement. Orford has it, seven seconds. Horseman, long surely, three-pointer, no. French lets it go out of bounds. 2.5 seconds. Can Lindemann do it again? <laughs> just, just thinking that. No doubt she'll be the recipient of this uh, inbounds. And they put Savannah Wrecker into the game to guard Lindemann, make sure that I don't know, the key players. Lindemann has it. Foul. Won't get a shot off in time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> almost. Still almost made the one after the buzzer. All tied up here as we enter the fourth quarter. We're back for more district final girls basketball action here on WOSN. Welcome back. Our free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. Getting ready for the fourth quarter. District final basketball action from the Elida Fieldhouse. Girls basketball action. Ottawa Glandorf and Delphus Jefferson all tied up at 34. Patrick Hamler, Evan Skilleter here with you. And this one, a back and forth affair. As we mentioned, Delphus Jefferson had an eight-point lead midway through the second quarter. OG has chipped away at that one entirely. Delta Jefferson making a basket to tie it back up. And uh, here we go, eight minutes left, and we are basically back to zero. Yeah, Jefferson won the first quarter by four. The second quarter score was 11-11, and now a four-point win in that third quarter for the Titans finds this game all tied up. It'll be Titan basketball as we get started with the fourth quarter. Mismatch inside, a lot of strength from Kaufman. Kaufman up and in. I love Claire Brinkman's game for Delphus Jefferson, but Kaufman with some size on her as well as four years of varsity basketball experience. Kaufman has come alive here. She has 13 points. Lindemann with a strong take and she will be fouled against Kemet, I believe. It was, so that's her yep. second. Lindemann's only missed one free throw so far today. First Lee's favorite for chicken free throw is up and good. Katie Kaufman had five points in the first half, eight in the third quarter alone. She was able to really key this attack for OG as the second Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw is no good. 
25 points for Liv Lindemann, who's playing on one and a half ankles today. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's really been hard to tell that she's had any ankle problems. She's moved pretty well. Kimmich's got to look to score if they're going to give her space. And indeed, she's going to try it. French with the block. Lindemann taking it up strong mm. and in. Look at that touch. She had a big defender in Micah Aldrich, a great defender as well. Yep. All over her, but she's able to spin and lift that up into the basket. That's impressive stuff from Lindemann. Here's Erford working inside, and nice touch of her own as he floats that one in, and back and forth we go. 38-37 OG. Can't give her space, and now it's Aldrich's turn to guard Lindemann. Here comes the high ball screen from French. Lindemann all the way down and, in and can't finish it. Right there, Aldrich went under the screen and went under way too slowly. And Lindemann got a step, just not able to finish. Long pass to Erford. Erford kicks it back out. Here's Kaufman inside. I have no idea how that pass got through. That was perfectly <laughs> placed right past French's hand. This is a big possession right here for Jefferson. Starting to feel like this one could get away from him. The Titans starting to feel good. The Titans have been able to establish a presence with Katie Kaufman underneath. And that's really changed this game, uh, certainly from a scoring perspective. And Erford reading the pass, taking it in, fake and down. Yeah, big time out here. Ottawa Glandorf extending their largest lead of the night. Five points will take it as well. 529 left in the game. 42-37 OG on top. We'll be back. Welcome back. Our three-point sponsor is Lotus Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 Shannon Street. South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. Five point lead for Ava Glandorf. Titans on a 6 0 run right now to give them that lead. And we feel like they've started to establish themselves down low. They've been able to kind of uh, muscle in there. Their presence, Katie Kaufman, leading the charge in that regard. And so far, the Jeff Cats haven't had an answer for that. Yeah, the Titans have definitely found the right recipe to getting Kaufman the ball, getting her to score 15 points now in this game, 10 of those here in the second half, and they're doing a nice job with their guards, penetrating and drawing a defender away from Kaufman and then getting her the ball so she has a little more space to maneuver. Lindemann, Lana Julie, three-pointer and hits it. Can't go underneath screens, ball screens. If you go under, she will step back and she will hit threes. That's 30 points now for Lindemann. Of her team's 40, now a little foul there. That'll just be her second, so yep. no problem there. First against the team. So Lindemann has been the the vast majority of the Delphus Jefferson offense in this one. And it's very easy to say, well, you know, just stop that one player and then <laughs> do hope for the best. Well, you know, they've been trying. <laughs> Glendorf has been giving it the old uh, college try, as it were, but Lindemann has been a force out there. Or for nice extra pass to Kaufman underneath up with the right hand. And you see what we, we just talked about. They are getting inside with guards. And then you saw right there, Erford just passing it off as soon as French comes in to help. And it's an easy layup. And they're connecting on those shots. They weren't connecting on those shots in the first half. Absolutely. Moore has it top of the key, gives it up to Lindemann. She'll try another Locks Shirley three-pointer. That one short. Moore going to try and save it. And it will go out of bounds back to Ottawa Glendorf. Yeah, not surprised she shot that. Still had some space. You cannot give her that space if you're the Titans. She almost made them pay right there. Well, no doubt Liv has the green light. If she has that shot in that opening, she's going to take it. Nice feed inside to Erford, and she is fouled. There's Mueller, I believe, in there on the foul. That's who they will call it on. That's going to be her second, team second. Yeah, I know it's quick, but you just got to slide those feet. You can't use your hands to play defense, especially not help defense when you're sliding in, trying to take it away. Oftentimes, you're going to grab the arm of the offensive player. And now Erford with two free throws. She's a good free throw shooter. First Lee's free throw is off the mark.
OG clinging to a four-point lead, 44 to 40. Second lead, famous recipe chicken, free throw is no good. French with the rebound for the Jeff Cats. As we come up on the halfway point of this fourth quarter. Four-point lead for OG on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Lindemann with 30 points and the basketball. It's okay if they take their time here. They don't need a quick bucket. They just need a good, strong possession. Miller with the basketball. The only other one to score. Here's a turnover. Taking it all the way up and in. It's Grothouse. Jefferson not passing the ball well on the perimeter right now. They're just throwing some lazy, weak passes, and the Titans are not the team to do that against. They will jump every pass they think they can get to, even if they can't. And Miller with a lot of truly three-pointer, no good. Kaufman with the rebound. And an offensive foul. That was a tough one to see. I didn't really know or see what happened right there, but referee right on top of it. And an untimely foul there. That's three against Kaufman. I saw Kaufman twist and Mueller go flying. That's circumstantial at best, but the official's right there on the spot and calling the foul. And Erford blocking that pass and saved by OG. Forcing the turnover, long pass to Kaufman. On the other side, can't finish. French Ooh, with the rebound, and then Kaufman. Kaufman with the foul. Sorry to interrupt you there, Patrick, but that was just a really unfortunate foul because that ends up being four yep. against Kaufman, two in a row on the same possession, essentially. Kaufman with 17 points. She's really been the engine in this OG comeback. and. If she has to go out, which she is off the court right now. And we'll see if they can get some quality post play from Kimmett. They're going to go right underneath the French. French up and in. Well, best post defender goes to the bench. They go right inside, and French able to put it in. Down to 240 remaining in the fourth quarter. OG with a four-point lead in the basketball. for a long possession here, I'm sure. Erford takes it in strong. Cow ball knocked around, coming loose and controlled by Ottawa Glandorf. About half the court hit the deck there. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Erford around, and Troy Yant's going to call a timeout. So we've got 2.14 left in the fourth quarter. Ottawa Glandorf with a four-point lead, and if you're out of the Glandorf with a four-point lead, you're you're probably not necessarily thinking, hey, let's slow it down and play ball control. You still want to have a sense of urgency on offense. Yeah, what I like to tell players at this point in the game, you have a yellow light, right? If you're open and it's your shot, take it. But we don't want to force any shots. We don't necessarily need to create shots. We need to move the ball through our offense, have a long extended possession until we get our shot. If that comes with two seconds or two seconds into the possession, all right, fine, take the shot. But ultimately, you want to be very, very selective with your shots here. And if you're Douglas Jefferson, you got to keep doing what you're doing. Just get up in their face. This is a team, the Ottawa Glendor Titans, that doesn't get rattled often, but there have been possessions today where Delphus Jefferson has made them really, really uncomfortable. So final instructions there to Caitlin Kemet from the bench. And she will inbound the basketball. 2.14 remaining on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. It's a four-point Ottawa Glendorf lead. Now, Kimmett yep. will stand there until French comes all the way out. Double team and forcing the turnover. Smart play, they trap in the corner. More hands off to Lindemann behind the back dribble. Up oh. and in. <laughs> there were three defenders right there. She kept the dribble and floated it up and in. That is incredible. 32 of 44 points now for the hobbled Liv Lindemann. But again, if you're watching this game, you have no idea by the way she's playing that she is hurt. And ball comes loose and they're going to say out of bounds. In any case, looks like Jefferson was going to come up with it anyway. So Coach, it'll be the Jeff Katz basketball. Go ahead, Evan. Coach Yant didn't have a choice but to put Kaufman back in as Jefferson has scored four straight points. Opportunity to tie or take the lead here for Delta Jefferson on this possession. If they go under 90. I wonder if they'll go at Kaufman here. Yeah, they tried to get the ball into French and draw that fifth foul against Kaufman, which, look, 
as a coach, you start to look at the scoreboard, you think, yeah, maybe overtime, if we can get Kaufman off the floor for that extra period, that'd be nice. Yeah. Without a doubt, we'll see how they do it more with the pass into Lindemann. Lindemann working inside, getting it to French, and then a scrum for the basketball, and they tie up, and it will stay over there. I like the idea from Lindemann right there, trying to draw Kaufman away from French to get that easy look, but the quick hands of the Titans able to knock that pass away. More to inbounds and does. Lindemann has it, working inside, and Erford called on the foul. That'll be her fourth, and she is bewildered. Yeah, I didn't really see that one either. Usually, if you call someone off the ball like that for the foul, it's because they reached in and maybe swiped the arm of the offensive player, but this is who you want at the free throw line. Lee's famous Herbie Chicken free throw for Liv Lindemann, no good. Try to cut it to a one-point lead here. Second Lee's famous Herbie Chicken free throw is up and in. Well, would you say this is a big defensive possession? Uh, I would. <laughs> <laughs> and Lindemann almost coming up with the steal. And jump ball, that will keep the ball with OG, but also switch that possession arrow back over to Delphus Jefferson. Yeah, if big. there is another held ball, which is entirely possible. <laughs> it's been a We've lot had tonight. six or seven of them yeah, tonight. Absolutely. Lauren French is going to head out. Ooh, this is interesting because every time uh, she's gone out, the Titans have gone inside and taken advantage of the size mismatch. I think they might be doing that. I think they're also looking for some speed out there. Horseman with the basketball, 50 seconds remaining. They don't need to shoot it, but oh you'll no. need to turn it over just like that. Through the hands of Horseman, it's Delphus Jefferson basketball. Two timeouts left for Jefferson. They might not take one here, though. Let him in with the basketball. 40 seconds to go in the fourth. Fans on their feet here at the field house. Not most of them, anyway. Uh, there should be a few more. Most of the Delphus Jefferson crowd standing here. Lindman taking it up and strong. Kaufman with the block. That was huge right there from Kaufman. Coach OG Ian timeout. I love that. Katie Kaufman just sliding off her man, knocking that ball away. What I really love, though, she has four fouls, and she still made an aggressive mm -hmm. play. And what she did was she, she didn't try to get too overly aggressive. She put one hand straight up in the air yep. knowing that, hey, if I do this, I've got about three feet above Lindemann that I can block, and she's able to knock that ball away. I really, really like what she did there. That is a huge play from a senior. And we've seen Lindemann do that the entire game. She's done that drive moving inside, taking the layup, and Kaufman knew, as you said, she had that position already. All she had to do was put her hands up, and then what happens, happens. If if, if uh, Lindemann crashes into her, it's a charge. If she puts it up, you know, hey, good shot, but if she misses it, you know, there's a lot of things, good things that could happen, and in that case, it was a block. Yeah, and I'll be interested if Delphus Jefferson does get this ball back, and they get down the court on offense, I'll be interested to see if they go with that high ball screen without Lauren French setting the screen, because when French is down on the post, that's when Kaufman is there. So if French comes up and sets the screen and Kaufman is guarding French, it keeps Kaufman away from the basket mm -hmm. where Lindemann can get in and score a little bit easier with all, without all that length right there. But they've got some work to do defensively here first. Titans with the basketball clinging to a one-point lead. 22.2 seconds remaining. A little 5 0 run for OG, but it might be enough to pull this one out. Pass across the timeline to Brinkman. She has it, 16 seconds. Let's see how Jefferson does this. Horseman with the basketball, maybe looking to foul. They've got Erford, trying to get a foul, and they will. Moore grabbing her. That'll be Moore's third. Curious and they had they, a foul to give, a couple fouls to give. Yeah, curious they took so long to foul right there. It's not like they were waiting for a bad free throw shooter to get it. 
Eight seconds left. They only have three team fouls, so they have to foul two more times before the Titans get to the line unless they can take away this inbounds pass. They will have a timeout left after so, this one. So another timeout here on the court. We want to take the opportunity to remind you that Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken updates you with all area scores with the WOSN Scores app. You can download the free app from Android or Apple stores or visit WOSN.TV. You can also visit our website, WOSN.TV, for scores, standings, access to our broadcast schedule, and as well as the aforementioned app. Full time out here at the Elida Fieldhouse. A one point lead for Ottawa Glandorf over Delphus Jefferson. As Ottawa Glandorf, uh, both boys and girls basketball always seem to be perennial. District semifinal, district final, regional teams always uh, seem like the Titans faithful travel pretty well, have a reason to travel, and they've turned out quite a bit in force, as you've no doubt seen our broadcast. Delphus Jefferson has represented uh, very well, too, this afternoon. Yeah, and it's always such a great atmosphere here in the field house when you get deeper and deeper into the playoffs. You've got a district final here, or excuse me, yeah, district final yeah, district here. Final, you've yep. got the regional semifinals coming up next Thursday, and we'll be in the house for both of those games. And Man, it just doesn't get any better than this time of year. OG to inbound, 8.4 seconds remaining. Erford with it and fouled. Still two seconds was, come off the clock. See, that was a bit of a slow developing foul. I mean, I understand you want to try and maybe force a turnover, see if you can get something going there, but also that's a situation where you're going to waste time too, and, and we got our foul. Yeah, we did. Lindemann trying to keep the ball from going over to Carly Brinkman, ends up fouling her. So now Brinkman to the line. She'll shoot two. Either way, after this, it'll be a one possession game. But listen, Delphus Jefferson needs to rebound too. And there, there have been a lot mm -hmm. of offensive rebounds for the Titans. So if Brinkman ends up missing the second one. First Lee's free throw, no good. Kimmett and Kaufman underneath. Now French will come back in for Jefferson. Oh man, just saw a little subtle leadership play there from Lindemann as Moore came in, or Mueller came in and looked at Lindemann to say, hey, let me get the lower block. And Lindemann said, no, I'm getting this rebound. 6.6 <laughs> seconds. Lee's famous recipe free throw is good. Two point lead for OG. Moore will inbound and OG wants to talk it over. We'll step away as well. 6.6 .6 seconds remaining. It's a two point OG lead. How will this one turn out? Find out next on WOSN. A thriller here this afternoon at the Elida Fieldhouse. OG with a two point lead over Delphus Jefferson. Jeff Katz will have the basketball with 6.6 .6 seconds remaining. Obviously, you don't need a three pointer if you're Delphus Jefferson, although Liv Lindemann has hit a 50 foot shot already in this contest. She has 33 points in this one, by the way. Here we go. More to inbounds, gets it to Lindemann. Five seconds. Lindman gives it up. It's for the win! No! And Pitt put it back in, and Ottawa Glandorf takes care of business here in the Fieldhouse as they win the district championship here this afternoon. Titans did what you expected. They focused on Lindemann, and she made the team player play and passed it away because she was double teamed. She had a teammate wide open. And hey, sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. But my goodness, what a basketball game we had here in this one. So proud of both these teams. Delphus Jefferson having a great season. It stinks that it has to end here, but someone has to lose. And really looking forward to seeing what the Titans can do as they move forward and play in the regional tournament right here in Elida on Thursday. Ottawa Glandorf claiming the district crown. We will step away, but when we return, we will tell you who our Stolly Hustle Award winner is in this one. The final 47-45, Ottawa Glandorf on top of Delphus Jefferson. We will be right back. Welcome back. Proud to announce our Stolly Hustle Award winner, brought to you by Stolly Insurance. Check out highlights 
of tonight's Dolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. It is Katie Kaufman of Ottawa Glandorf pitching in 17 points to help Ottawa Glandorf win the district championship tonight, 47 to 45. But Evan Skelter, she did a lot more than that in this one. She absolutely did. She had she did not have a great first half, but she ended up shooting 50% from the field. You already mentioned the 17 points. She had 14 rebounds along with those. Seven of those were, I'm sorry, 14 total rebounds. Seven were offensive rebounds. She had three blocks and a steal. One of those blocks was a huge one at the end of the game against Lindemann as she drove down trying to take the lead for her Jeff Katz. So a really great hustle performance for Katie Kaufman who wins the award this time. Kaufman, our Stolly Hustle Award winner as Ottawa Glendorf winning the district championship here at the Elida Fieldhouse. The Jeff Cats on the court will receive their runners up. And uh, but we will step away as we bring you the final one more time. 47 to 45, Ottawa Glandorf on top of Delphus Jefferson. OG advances to the regional semifinal. That concludes our broadcast for tonight for Evan Skilder and our entire WOSN staff. I'm Patrick Kamler saying so long, everybody, from the Fieldhouse.